Uh, welcome back to the panel. Now, we're going to, to the draft. And personally, I think the people who've been managing this have been a little bit off. We lack speed in the midfield, which has been a big issue for West Coast Eagles. Now, on the panel, we're going to go very quick. You're going to give us two players that you think Eagles need and why they need them. Okay? I'm starting with you, Rob. Well, that's unfortunate because I can't think of two names. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, look, I, I draft uh, Liam Ryan. Uh, you know, I'm a CB boy, uh, have been for uh, over 50 years, and uh, he's a human highlight reel. Uh, he'd be exciting for us up uh, up forward. Uh, other than that, um, there was a bloke from, uh, I think, the Dandenong Rangers that uh, could play midfield, but I can't remember his name, because uh, as Dill just said, I don't really do the draft research. That's what I've got these blokes for. Um, oh... Off the top of my head, I have to say Tim Kelly. Um, I've followed him. I'm, I work at South Fremantle, so I follow him and watch him closely. Uh, he just adds everything that we need in our midfield. Um, I th personally, I think if we recruit him, he'll be there round one. Um, I will always remember the Derby, kick seven goals, 35 touches, spent whole third quarter at full forward. Remind reminded me of Chris Judd. Big call on that, but. Reminded me, Chris. Just on that, if Tim Kelly is that good, why is he so behind on the draft pick? He has had a lot of deficiencies that he's had to work through, and the Eagles continue. The Eagles have been working with him for about, I think, for about five years now, and they've continually asked him to work on things, and he has. He had a lot of problems with tags being tagged, and he struggled with that a lot. Um, but I think if anyone watched Waffle this year and watched any South Fremantle games, he just... Who was the second player? Um, it was a bit different, but I'm warming to Hunter Clark you know, as our first pick. I just think he, he's got so much versatility about his game that I think just brings so much to the club. Uh, yeah, I reckon Tim Kelly. Like, he just What I've read about him... He's what we need. Nice big body. He's a mature age. He's ready to slot straight in. Just we're, we need somebody in the guts like that. And I'd probably go with Rob Lee and Ryan. Just the thought of him and Rioli in the forward line just makes me salivate. <laughs> it just they're they're both players that have just unsurmountable potential. Like name a Rioli that's been crap. Really, I don't see Willie being the first one. And him and Liam Ryan, see you Crips, see you Lecker, yeah. there's the future. Beautiful. Well, um, I kind of hope I uh, got to go in before Steve because that's exactly who I want. Uh, Tim Cowley has speed in the midfield, averages a goal a game. Goal kicking midfielders worth their weight in gold. And uh, Liam Ryan, player that can kick 73 goals in 23 games. Definitely worth a look. I know they're both mature age players, but I think Kelly's 23, Ryan's only 21. And these players are around the age of, you know, Sheed, Yo's a bit older, but then they'll Duggan, Nelson, Barras, our core will be all the same age, which I think will be brilliant going, going forwards. Now, one of the problems that the Eagles have had is big body midfield, and none of you have actually been able to look at getting a big body midfielder. So, was I hope you've got something good for me. Well, Tim Kelly has got a bigger body now. 100, so. 180 what? Well, he's only 183 centimetres. Yeah. yeah, he's got a big upper frame. Um, the, the players I was going to give to you aren't midfielders. Oh, good. So, that's, um, <laughs> that's the opinion. But if you wanted one, I'd say Corin Hayden. Yeah. He's like, uh, I'd be disappointed if the Eagles didn't pick him. Yeah. Um, he plays like Ollie Wines, and some people say Sam Powell Pepper. What I've seen of him playing at waffle level, um, yeah, the guys, he's going to be a star, and I'm hopefully we do pick him up. He, he could slot into the midfield. He's he's just he's one of these guys. He's not afraid to go and get the ball, and he, he's an inside mid. So you go and get it. But there's a guy I know everyone's gone on about Liam Ryan, and that's cool. Where does he go in the draft? Does he go in the second round, or does he slide through to the fourth round? Um, I don't think he'd get free to the fourth round, to be honest, so that's why I think he was a ping. But there's another guy called Grian Myers from Geelong Falcons. He kicked seven goals in the TAC Cup Grand Final. He's got dreadies. He was like Nick Natanui. He's going to be a cult figure. This kid can play. And when I first started doing my draft research, I was going WA-centric. I was trying to go, yeah, I wanted to pick this because I don't want to get a guy home pack. But this kid, 
he's going to go in your mid thirties. If he gets, if he goes, don't pick him up. I think we're losing out. A good thing there, but it comes down to: do you pick Graham Myers or do you pick Liam Ryan? You know, it's going to come down to that. Um, and another personal favourite of mine, um, and I don't think he's around to pick, so he could slip through to our sixty-nine pick. Is a kid called Callan England. Mm-hmm. Now he's a hail boy. He's played Colts level. He's played. I think he might have played a couple of waffle games at the end, but I'll be corrected if I'm not. But that kid has got star written all over him. He's a future leader, and he's another guy who was going. He's not scared to go in. He just goes and gets a ball and delivers. And he's you know the people at the Colts level they just rate him big time. So they're three guys and. I did have another guy that I didn't want to put on my page, but um, today it's been released on Fox Footy, a guy called Aaron Redlands from East Perth as a ruckman. Everyone's been going on yeah. about Scott Jones. This kid's uh, Sandylands type, 203 centimetres, still growing. Um, he kicked six goals in one Colts game earlier on in the year. He's a bit gangly. He's, a bit, he's, got a, lot, he's a development player, so I'd like to see him picked up as a rookie. Everyone's been talking about Scott Jones, because he's ready to go. He's got a real, he's a big frame, he's massive, carries a big weight too. But if it was me coming down between Scott Jones and Aaron Redlands, I'd be going Aaron Redlands. Well, we, personally, I think we do need to find a young Ruckman. Nat Nui's what, 26, 27? You know, another f- five, six years, he could, his body could break down, we're screwed. Uh, Vardy's 25, 26, Lysette's about the same age. So by the time this younger Ruckman's developed, they're going to be on there ready to retire and we're going to be left with nothing. We're going to be left with a developing Ruckman. So we need somebody like that. Now, going into draw, you never know what you're going to get. And uh, we're waiting for the next two weeks to be able to analyse and uh, hopefully we'll be back here to actually talk about what the Eagles picked and why they did pick it. Thank you so much, guys.